Hello and welcome to part three of the Commerce Connect Introduction and Understanding video series. In this video, we're going to briefly look at the new indexes that are created as part of a default Commerce Connect installation. So Commerce Connect introduces two new indexes, and these are either Lucene indexes or solar indexes. And these are used for two main reasons. The first is there is a pipeline processor called Synchronize Product List, which will uh, use the index to easily determine what is new and changed via the external ID. So if you look at the uh, actual indexing value, this differs from uh, the existing Sitecore Master Index or Sitecore Web Index by the fact that these additional fields are added in order for the pipeline processor to easily look up those values. Uh, the second is by excluding the products from the Sitecore Master Index, you can keep your other site content uh, segmented. So uh, you're not confusing your standard out-of-the-box Sitecore content uh, with your e-commerce specific products. So we'll spend a couple minutes looking at these indexes. Now in this installation and an out of the box uh, Commerce Connect installation, you have to choose manually between enabling Lucene or enabling Solar. For this uh, example, Lucene is the easiest of the two. With Solar, you have to configure cores manually, uh, whereas Lucene, if you enable that, uh, Sitecore on startup will simply create the indexes as necessary. So I'm also going to use the tool Luke for taking a look at the uh, indexes uh, as they're created. So you can see here, I've opened up the Commerce Products Master Index and there's two uh, additional fields. There's uh, external ID and there's external parent ID. So these are different compared to many of the other fields that you'll see uh, including all the underscore fields, which are basically most of the Sitecore system fields. And so the Commerce uh, Index has uh, inherited a lot of the same uh, indexing uh, fields as the out-of-the-box Sitecore implementation. However, many other things are added. And so we can look at some of the fields here. For example, we've got uh, manufacturer name, uh, various other elements, product types, product classes, resources, etc, etc. So if we go over to search and, for example, search for, again, picking on our ASUS computers and look at one of the terms, you can see that a lot of this information, external ID, category name, uh, manufacturer name, this is all, um, some of this anyways, is pushed up to that core uh, index product. So now one really important thing to note is that by default in most Commerce Connect installations as part of the install your Commerce product index is completely segregated from your Sitecore master index and what this means is that occasionally you're going to notice that uh, if you are navigating the Sitecore user interface uh, occasionally, sometimes you will see those Sitecore products and sometimes you won't see those Sitecore products. And if you are using any Sitecore search-based user interface for products, uh, lookups, or associations, these need to be re-included in the Sitecore Master Index in order so that you can see them in the user interface. And I'll actually show you a demonstration of this behavior and also how to fix that in your config file. So we're back here in our Sitecore site, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Sitecore Content Home, and I'm going to search for an ASUS. And you can see here that it is returning two results, and these are actually both in the Sitecore Media Library. It is not returning the product item of the ASUS that we want to see. Now you can see that if you do navigate down to the product repository and click on products, you'll see here that there's a search tab. And at this point, if I search for ASUS, it will have found that laptop. And I can click on that and you'll see here that it's now finding that laptop in the product repository. And the reason is when you're searching in Sitecore Content Home, the search context is using the Sitecore master database or master index, which does not have 
your commerce products synchronized. It does have the content in the media library. Similarly, when you are at the products in the product repository, this search context is searching the commerce products master index and it's not returning back the uh, images that you can see. So they're completely separate indexes. And this is normally useful, often if you just have a, a you know front end and the e-commerce front end is solely looking at uh, the commerce product indexes, uh, be it master or web, that's fine. The problem occurs at the point that you want to start doing associations within Sitecore. So for example, if I'm now here at this Asus uh, laptop, and I want to uh, do an association. Now let's actually go through manually because associations are done at a child level. So I'm going to go here to the ACES laptop and relations and related products. And so now if I am wanting to use search to find related products, let's search for another ACES you can see that it can only find the images that it's finding from the media library. And the reason is, is because this search element is using the Sitecore master index for its search uh, repository. It's not using the commerce index for its search repository. And so what you need to do is manually go into a config file and re-enable those such that your commerce products are also in the Sitecore master index so that those can show up in the results here. So step one is actually to open this configuration file in your Sitecore site and that is sitecore.commerce.products.lucene.defaultindexconfiguration.config and you can see here that what it's doing is it's modifying your uh, Lucene configuration for your commer for your uh, defaults, which is Sitecore Master Index, and it's excluding a whole bunch of templates. It's excluding uh, product templates, uh, divisions, identifications, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now you can get very granular and specific with this, which is to say, um, if you just want to have products, if you're only doing a product-based lookup list, you can just re-enable products and you can do that by simply commenting this line out because this is an exclude list. For the purposes of this demonstration and any development, it's quickest simply to uh, re-enable this. So I'm going to simply hide that entire list and save that. Now after this occurs, you need to go back to Sitecore and re-index the Sitecore master index. And then at that point, we'll be able to see those values in our lookup. So let's do that now. So we go back to the Sitecore Launchpad and the Control Panel. And whereas before you might go to rebuild search indexes, these indexes have moved. There's now a new uh, setting called indexing. And go to the Indexing Manager and you can see all the indexes here. We only need to rebuild uh, Sitecore Master Index. This is around uh, the user interface. And so we'll click Rebuild and at that point you're commerce products will be in your Sitecore master index and will show up in any of those search-based interfaces. So that re-indexing is done. Let's close that now and go and look at the content that we just looked at. So we'll go and we'll revisit that ASUS laptop. Once again, going back to the content editor and back into our product repository and those item buckets. So we want to relate one ASUS laptop to another ASUS laptop. And so now here, if we do a search, you can see that in addition to the two JPEGs that we're finding, we're finding everything else. We're finding the manufacturers, product resources, et cetera, et cetera. But really what we would want to associate, it's the products here. Now again, to get more granular and filter those out, filter out manufacturers and filter out resources, you would modify your config file to exclude those. For the purposes of the demonstration, I wanted to see everything here in this list. 
Um, and that's really, in a nutshell, how you re-enable that. And then at this point, your related uh, products lookup, as well as any other lookup, would work correctly. Now, one other thing you can do is, as I did earlier with uh, some of the other templates, is I can modify this product relation template and place a starting location on the related products lookup. So instead of finding all the manufacturers and everything else, I could have product repository products as a starting path and then therefore only products would be returned from that list. Um, but that's something that uh, was shown earlier and it's also something that most people should know how to do. So I'm not gonna go through that in this demonstration. So now that we understand the indexing that's going on, uh, the new indexes that are created, we're going to look at a couple of the different aspects within search in general. So there's a couple things uh, with search. The first is that I want to be able to take some of those uh, Commerce Connect fields and expose those as searchable facets. And this is something that you need to do manually. And the main reason you need to do it manually is because you don't necessarily know until you've done some synchronization and some elements come in as searchable assets. So in our case, uh, product type is um, a property that's being synchronized with those products, but we want to set up product type as a searchable facet. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll spend a few minutes discussing strategies for dealing with searchable uh, data on child items. One of the things that you'll notice is that although we have the ability within Commerce Connect to define composite Sitecore items as a single API call, so that if you're accessing a product, you can do uh, product relations and product features and things like that. When those child items like relations and features and specifications are indexed by Lucene, they are indexed as separate items. And so there are a few strategies for dealing with this and we will uh, discuss those further. So first things first, let's again go back to Sitecore and again go to our products node and do a search for a laptop. So we're going to search for Asus. Now what you can see here is that most of the search facets are out-of-the-box Sitecore facets, template, language, author. However, there are some additional facets that you can see here, pre-orderable, orderable locations, uh, in-stock locations, and date range. Those are actually facets that are added um, out of the box by uh, Commerce Connect. And so you can see where those are. If you go down to System, Settings, Buckets, Facets, there's an additional folder called Commerce Connect and Inventory. And these are facets that are added specifically for inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this and basically uh, copy and replicate this model so that we can add product type as a facet that we can see here in the search results. So now because faceting works directly on the Lucene index, we're going to use our favorite trusty tool, Luke, and look at the document that's returned. So in our case here, I'm searching on ASIS and I'm looking here at this document. And if I want to have the uh, product type uh, exposed as a faceted field, this is the field that I would use, product type name, all in lowercase. So I'm gonna go back to Sitecore and do that. So within our facets folder, I'm going to add a new facet, call it product type. And we'll give the display name also the name product type. Now what we need to do here is the field name, uh, it's already put in a value uh, from the standard values of product type. We want that value to be product type name, all one word, lowercase. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll save that. So now when we go back up to the product repository, and let's do a search on everything, we can see here that in addition to our default system uh, facets coming back, template, et cetera, et cetera, we now have product type. And so we can easily say, right, 
show me just the notebooks and you can filter that down. So in this way you can add uh, anything as a facet. We could go ahead and do manufacturers uh, or various other elements, but you always need to make sure to use the value that is coming from the Lucene index as your facet and ensure also that it's lowercase. So now we have those additional fields uh, synchronized as uh, facets within Sitecore and we've exposed those as searchable facets within the user interface. Uh, one last thing to deal with, uh, at least as a concept, is uh, mentioning strategies when dealing with searchable data on child items. So as we know, um, Commerce Connect does have an API which essentially takes those composite Sitecore items um, of the product, the child items, which often contain things like specifications, things like relationships, etc., etc. Some of those things, such as the manufacturer, uh, generally those things that come on the product item themselves are synchronized and put in a Lucene index as uh, additional fields. Uh, however, often things like the specifications aren't indexed uh, in that main item within Lucene. So there are really two ways of dealing with this. You can either create a custom computed field that will take those child items from the Sitecore items and take those values and push them into uh, an index on that parent product. And that's one way of doing that. The other way is to do the filtering on the search results level. And so generally what we've seen people do is uh, computed fields. Um, computed fields are a little uh, expensive in terms of uh, performance. However, um, if you're dealing with solar, you can uh, move that off to another machine uh, for one thing. And for the other, um, generally speaking, for things like computed fields, you're only doing it where necessary. So you're not going to have a number of computed fields. It's really where you definitely want to have those child relationships as facets. So um, it could be something like a feature or a specification where you know, that is definitely something that people are searching upon. It is definitely something that's a child item and you want to push that into the parent item so that when somebody searches on a feature, let's say it's a laptop with an Intel processor, if they search on Intel, you want the laptops to show up. Um, that's the type of thing where you would do a computed field. There's a good example on GitHub, uh, the Sitecore Auto House example uh, has a number of computed fields which uh, are not only um, taking things uh, and you know moving them around in uh, custom fields within an index but it's also doing things like um, aggregating so you have size ranges and image ranges and price ranges as uh, custom computed fields so and those those examples and the metadata within AutoHouse translate very well to uh, e-commerce concepts especially when we're discussing things like ranges so I highly recommend visiting that site and looking at that for examples.